Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal. I head the Department of Breast Diseases and Cancer Care at CK Birla Hospital, Gurgaon. And I'm joined today with uh, my very dedicated chemo nurse, uh, Supinder. And uh, both of us are going to tell you about breast self-examination. Okay. Now, before I tell you about breast self-examination, just a few things which you should know before you do this test on yourself. So, first of all, the terminology now has changed. It is no longer called as breast self-examination. What we say these days is that a lady should be breast aware. Right? So that doesn't mean doing it rigorous, rigorously every month, but just every now and then to make sure that there's no change or a lump developing in your breast. Now, another thing which I want to tell you is that breast examination done by yourself should not be done in isolation. It should be a part of the screening process which includes a regular checkup by a doctor which is either your gynecologist or a breast cancer surgeon and regular mammographies as well which start after 40 years of age. So to start with breast self-examination, the earlier guidelines were that it has to be done every month but now it can be done even in alternate months but you just need to be aware that there is no change occurring in your breast. For those ladies who are still getting their periods, it should be done on day 5 or day 6 of your cycles. In those ladies where the periods have stopped, you can do it on any day, you can just mark that date on your calendar and just keep on doing it on that date on subsequent months. So the first thing the lady has to do is that she has to stand in front of the mirror and put both her hands on the hips. Just like the Supinder is demonstrating and when she does that she has to see if both the breasts are looking equal is one breast looking bigger than the other one is the nipple on one side higher as compared to the other side or is it being pulled inside so these are the things which you need to observe on your own after that the lady has to put her hands above the head and then see if the nipple is being pulled inside on one side or is one nipple riding higher as compared to the other one. Once you've done this basic checkup, then the re next part happens when you're taking a bath in the shower. So in the shower, what we recommend is that you apply soap on your hand and some soap on your breast as this increases the sensitivity of you detecting a lump. The lady should keep one hand behind her head and if you are examining the left breast then it needs to be done with the right hand. Now a word of caution here, whenever you are doing the self examination it should be done using three fingers and the pulp of three fingers, not the tip please, the pulp of three fingers right and never never feel the breast like this never hold the breast tissue between your thumb and four fingers because if you do that you'll always feel a lump and I get at least 20 such patients in my OPD that they say that they're feeling a lump but in reality they're just doing the examination in the wrong manner and they pick up a lump when actually there's nothing there so again with three fingers, the pulp of three fingers, hand behind the head and then you feel for the breast in a circular motion against the chest wall. The same process has to be repeated on the other side and the, you should feel for the area behind the nipple right at the end because that area can be sometimes a bit sensitive. So this entire process just takes around five to seven minutes but it can help you detect a breast lump early. I hope we've discussed the process with you in detail, but as I've told you, this should not be done in isolation. If a lady is above 35 years of age, once a year she should visit her gynecologist or a breast cancer surgeon for, an, for a thorough examination. And if the lady is above 40 years of age, then you need to do a mammogram every year. Those who have a family history of breast cancer or ovarian cancer, you need to meet a doctor as in your case the frequency can be much more as compared to a normal lady. So just by doing these simple steps you can help in picking up a lump early and if you pick up breast cancer early then the treatment is also curtailed and the survival rates are much higher. Thank you.